to the bread kitchen. We're going to do something a little different this week and I'm going to show you how to make some delicious whole wheat crackers that you can enjoy with a slice of cheese or some dips or just on their own. First thing to do is to preheat the oven to 180 fan oven or 200 normal oven. In this bowl I've got 300 grams of wholemeal flour and I'll add in one tablespoon of sugar, three teaspoons of baking powder, one and a half teaspoons of salt and a quarter of a teaspoon of paprika, the paprika is optional, a teaspoon of mixed herbs, these are optional, and then I'll mix these together. Now add in 75 grams of butter cut into small pieces. Now rub the butter and the flour together between your hands. What we'll try and do is end up with a mixture that feels like coarse sand or breadcrumbs. So after a couple of minutes the mixture should be nice and light and you shouldn't be able to feel any pieces of butter in the mixture at all. Now make a well in the center. Add in 160 grams of water and two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Then mix to a nice dough. So there's my dough. It's a little bit sticky but not to worry. I'll just pop it on the surface and then I'm going to knead it and I'm going to mix it between my hands for just for a couple of minutes. Make sure it's really well mixed. And there we are. It's not at all like a bread dough. It's quite sort of squidgy really. Now take a sheet of baking paper and about a third of the dough, put that in the middle and then roll the dough out as thin as you dare. So I've rolled the dough out and it's about a millimetre thick. Give me nice thin crispy crackers here. Now I'm going to use a two and a half inch cookie cutter to cut out my crackers. Pull up the excess dough carefully. Then prick the remaining shapes all over with a fork. This actually is important because it helps them to bake properly. Now I'll transfer these onto a baking tray. Slide the tray underneath. Now these will go in the oven for about 10 minutes or until they start to go brown. Meanwhile you can roll out another blob of dough. Now this time I'll cut them into squares. Prick them with a fork all over. And bake these for 10 minutes as well. And there we go. Absolutely lovely. Now I'll leave these to cool for five minutes before I take them off the paper. So when your crackers have cooled you need to test them. Just kind of feel them all over and if they're nice and hard that's fine. If they're a bit soft, slightly soft in the middle, put them to one side. Then put any crackers that are just slightly soft on a baking tray and bake them for another five minutes. These crackers are really nice and crispy and they're quite hard to resist. Mm, I tell you it's really difficult to eat just one of these, they're very moorish. And the thinner you roll the dough, the more crispy they become. Gorgeous. Make sure you check out the recipe notes for this on my website thebreadkitchen.com and I hope you enjoy making your whole wheat crackers. I know you'll enjoy eating them. And do join me next time mm, in the bread kitchen. Mm -hmm.